hello Virgo welcome welcome thank you for being here this is your monthly tarot for June 2022 and it's good for Virgo Sun Moon rising Venus and cross watching thank you so much for being here love you guys I hope you're very very well okay we're going to use this deck to get general information we're going to look at money career finance over here and we're going to get some advice from the Oracle okay we are ready let's go oh and I am using reversals this month let me know if you like it or don't like it thought I would just do something different okay all right we have got the star coming out in reverse the nine of pentacles in reverse the ten of wands in reverse seven of pentacles central energy nine of wands in reverse ace of swords in reverse wow there's a lot of reversals here Virgo let's see what is going on okay ten of pentacles in your foundation we like that eight of swords and the ten of swords in reverse okay we'll find out more and we will probably use some clarifiers as well okay money and career we've got the four of wands which is lovely for money and career all right let's see what else is going on Okay, is that enough? No, we want one more. Knight of Cups, Two of Cups, King of Coins. Nice. This is looking good for money and career. Uh, one more. What's the outcome, please? Virgo for money, career, business. Knight of Swords. She's going to be talking a lot, shifting a lot, changing it up. Okay. From the angels, what's the guidance, the advice from the angels for my Virgos, please? opportunity Ooh, nice and from the unicorns all the cards I use are linked below guys along with the links to book in with me if you would like a private session whether that's an energy realignment healing hypnotherapy a reading I do do them live and pre-recorded depending where you are in the world if you can't make a live booking with me because of time differences then we can do a pre-recorded all right are we done yeah okay where do you want me to start over here how lovely we have got the open to abundance card number eight believe you deserve accept plenty and prosperity this is beautiful we you know we're earth signs and we love to know that there's enough security solidity financial flow we are in this energy virgo of being open to abundance and that is supported by opportunity so opportunity is coming knocking in june mm, they're just saying look the work that you've been putting in over and over and over and over is going to start to flourish and blossom and grow this month how lovely okay so coming into this general information then where do you want me to start please <clears throat> okay we're starting mm, I'm kind of torn between these two make your mind up some of them are <laughs> my talking to my team some of them are saying here and some of them are saying here can you get on the same page please thank you so much all right we're at the start so the star in reverse all right the star is all about energy flow our light our brightness our wishes dreams hopes and it is a beautiful healing energy of balance and harmony so it's upside down all right so what is going on why is it upside down all right so they're just saying some of you have lost sight of your dreams your goals you got stuck in a rut on the hamster wheel of life just going forward just getting up do what you do same stuff different day and that's lovely because you're hard workers and you are committed to what you do but you've lost sight this won't be for everybody if it doesn't resonate for you that's okay some of you have lost sight of your goal where am I going why am I doing this oh that's a big one let's just repeat that why am I doing this okay <laughs> right and why you just sit with that for a moment 
pause the video if you need to. Just sit with that for a moment. Whether it's about your relationship, why am I in this relationship? Whether it's about your job, why am I in this job? Why am I doing this? What is this all about? For those of you in business, on that hamster wheel, get up, just turn that business over every day, just keep it going, keep it going, keep it going. We've forgotten, they're telling me, and they're saying we, so they're including me in this. Most of you know I'm a Virgo as well. Sometimes we get so caught up with just doing what we've got to do that we forget why we're doing it. And in so doing, we lose a little bit of balance. And in so doing, we lose sight of our goals. And it is those goals that drive us forward. And it is that remembering why we do something that allows us to come into an energy of appreciation and gratitude, which brings more things to be appreciative of and grateful for. So what they'd like you to do is get back into why am I doing this? What is the point of this? What am I trying to achieve? Get back into those goals because it's the, that's why these two are so, that's why they were arguing about where to start. This is why we have the nine of, of wands in reverse. The nine of wands is I'm exhausted, battle weary, I just need to rest and I'll be okay and I can push through to the 10. I'm feeling, there's different meanings when it's reversed, but I'm feeling with these two, well, it's not what I'm feeling, they're telling me. I just listen, tell you what I'm told to tell you. The nine of wands here is saying, it's become too much of a burden. It's become, I've lost the energy, I've lost the flow. Um, okay, the nine of wands, pick it back up the same, okay. The nine of wands is generally about battle weary, exhausted, tired, have a break and you'll be fine, all right? Because it's upside down, they're saying, no, it's not just a matter of having a break. You've lost sight of what you're doing. And because of that, you are getting more tired than you need to because you're not in that flow of energy, of movement. You're on that hamster wheel of going round and round and round. So you may say, well, that's flowing, it's going round, but it's not going anywhere. It's a hamster wheel, is stationary. So we're working and pedaling like mad. They're showing me a bicycle now, um, not a bike that moves forward, um, an exercise bike that stands on its own little stand. So you're pedaling like mad, but you're not going forward because you've lost sight of why. And thank you, that's really helpful. Well, I think it's helpful, I hope you do too. So we can easily turn those around by making sure that we get back to the why. And you see, we've got the 10 of wands also in reverse. The 10 of wands is that burden, that struggle coming to an end. But they're saying, look, unless you get back to my goals, my dreams, my aspirations, why I'm doing it, then that will continue, which we don't want. Now, we've also got the nine of pentacles in reverse. And this is such a typical Virgo energy, in my opinion. <laughs> and I'm allowed to say that as a Virgo. This is Miss or Mr independence. I can do it. I'll probably do it better than you and I'll do it quicker than you. So leave me alone and I'll get on with it. When it's upside down, we have got stuck in this energy of only I can do it. Nobody else can help me. Um, I've just got to keep going. And yeah, it's, it's not great, is it? Virgo, come on. So we need to shift that. We're a bit stuck in that energy, right? The Eight of Swords is underneath it. It's down to me, only me, no help is available. Um, that, you know what I'm talking about. That is a little bit of a stuck energy. So what's it all about then? Let's come back to this first row. Because we've lost sight we're just focused on, got to keep going, building for the future, build my security, make sure there's enough money, make sure there's enough security. This is why we're doing it. And this is lovely. This is good intentions. This is positivity. It's very powerful. Um, we're in that energy of creating our security. But look what's going on. It's all on me. I'm exhausted and I'm stuck in that exhaustion that isn't going to shift. And it's just, uh, all right? And the Ace of Swords is there upside down saying, I want a new beginning. I want it. I want a new clarity, a new focus, a new sharpness. I want to feel clear and uh, concise in my communication. But I'm not because I'm just on this hamster wheel, aka 
a stationary bicycle just going round and round and not getting anywhere okay which is leading me to the ten of swords when it's the right way up it's it's done dusted finished you've done with that now but when it's upside down it's like we're just in this perpetual repeating cycle and we're a bit stuck okay this is making sense to most of you i hope it's certainly making sense to me so all of this is easy fix easy fix We've got to come back to why am I doing it? Why do I do this job? Why am I in this relationship? What is the purpose? What am I gaining? What is that starts to get us from a stationary bicycle to a proper bicycle that I can now go forward on, um, that I get off the hamster wheel and I can go running. I don't need to just stay stuck. This is easy turnaround. We just need to get the balance back by remembering why we do what we do okay all right let's look at money and career over here all of these cards are the right way up which is beautiful so we have a flow here a lovely flow the four of wands the security the stability the foundations are there the knight of cups taking action on what makes you happy what makes your heart sing with that two of cups are you truly connected in your heart to your job to your work to your business focusing on the king of coins the flow of financial prosperity making sure that there is a lovely solid foundation you've got the ten of pentacles there this abundance you've got the abundance card over there so there's opportunities coming in for you and that knight of swords is you taking action on those opportunities this is communication birds always represent communication so you're taking action. You may be reaching out to new customers, new clients. You may be those of you who decided you want a new job are reaching out to recruitment agents or LinkedIn or any of those sort of platforms where you're putting yourself out there. You are connecting in with something here that you love. But I think for many of you, you've lost sight of it. Okay, and that's what we want to get back. I want to get some... <clears throat> excuse me I want to get some clarification on this all right so I think they've more they're saying we told you everything but okay I'm just going to get three cards what's the outcome then if we focus back on the why if we focus back and get that energy moving what's the outcome please for Virgo lovers I'm loving what I do again five of coins all right what's that there why is that there clarify five of coins okay ace of swords in reverse again we are just getting stuck in it's all on me it's all on me the five of coins yes can talk about struggle financially but it's predominantly you know nobody is giving me any support but Ace of Swords on top of the Ace of Swords, both in reverse, is saying there is the opportunity for a new clarity, a new focus, a new sharpness, but we're not seeing it. Right, how do we turn this around, please? The lovers. The lovers. Get back to loving what you do. Loving why you do it. Loving, it's on top of the Seven of Pentacles, what I'm building for the future. And get off the hamster wheel of just another day another dollar because that is not working for you okay five of cups five of coins five of cups it's making us miserable this hamster wheel it's making us miserable now for some of you this is linked with a relationship you're on the hamster wheel of a relationship it's just going round and round in circles and relationships need to grow need to evolve need to shift when we try to hold our partner exactly as they were when we met them and they try to hold us like that oh you've changed I don't know who you are anymore well of course I've changed I'm not the same person I was you've changed too can we pull that together or are we going to feel this mm, okay so they're just saying stay with this this is a bit of a love reading here now sorry I don't do love reading oh, I'm not going to apologize no okay cancel the apology they're talking about this is about for some of you in a relationship the ace of swords in reverse is we're not talking we're not clearing the air we're miserable we're not feeling supported or loved it's just mm, yeah okay However, I've got the Six of Cups here with the King of Wands and the Ten of Cups. So, and the Ten of Wands. All right. 
with the tower okay we're stopping now yeah we're stopping now this is saying you can turn this around you can turn it around but you need to talk you need to focus back on why we're together what I was talking up here with the star why am I with you what is the purpose of this relationship what have we lost sight of yes we've changed of course we've changed we've grown if you met when you were 20 and you're 50 now you're not the same people it would be a bit worrying if you were so we need to allow allow my change and your change and now let's try to reconnect the two new people that we are together because we have something good here we've got the ten of cups we've got the six of cups soulmates right we've got the ten of wands it's it's been difficult it's been a challenge it's been a burden but if i step into my power and i can communicate clearly we can allow what wasn't working to fall away the tower we can pull down that lack of communication that lack of i've forgotten why i'm with you we can pull all that down and we can rebuild and build something new based on who we are now anything yeah they're saying that's it and zip like a zip okay so virgo that's what i have for you bit of a love reading towards there at the end for those of you that that resonates for but predominantly this is about life work money and in any area of your life but there are opportunities here for abundance we just need to get off the hamster wheel all right my darlings i hope that helps if it did give it a like a share that would be so much appreciated and if you haven't already do subscribe it's completely free and it just allows you to see and know when i am posting okay i post every week a general message for the collective so do catch me there and otherwise i will see you next month for july take care lots of love bye bye